Hi guys, Larissa with Bicosi.net is here. Today I will show you how to make this beautiful shrug. And this is the uh, front of it. This is the back. You can see how beautiful it looks. It's uh, very light. It's pretty small. So it's perfect for those chilly summer evenings. Uh, when you're going somewhere and you have your shoulders open and then in the evening you can just throw it on your shoulders. Uh, it's made from a skinny merino, as we call it. It's available at our store, becausey.net, and on Etsy at uh, becauseyetsy.com. You can see that it's much smaller. It's uh, less than half of the inch wide, but it uh, was spun already, so it's not uh, shedding, it's not peeling it's very durable you cannot uh, break it well uh, while you are uh, knitting or crocheting and we have a couple beautiful colors this beautiful gray and we have gorgeous very popular aquamarine uh, crimson really beautiful pink bright bean, pink color we have burgundy and uh, also ivory and one of the most popular uh, pink powder. So you can find them in our uh, store and uh, you can make this beautiful shrug using two skeins. So one skein is half pound, so you will need one pound or two skeins for this uh, shrug. And I will show you how to do it. This shrug was made with skinny merino and this uh, crochet hook. Uh, it's size U, uh, American size U, 25 millimeters, and it's available in our store too. So you can buy both and make this beautiful shrug. So uh, if you're ready, I will show you how to do it. Okay, guys, so you have two skeins of skinny merino laying uh, over here ready to knee, to crochet, I'm sorry. And uh, this hook size uh, 25. Uh, it's available size U or 25 millimeters. It's available in our store because it.net or uh, because it.etsy.com. So first of all, we will need to uh, make a chain and we will start by making a loop and then grabbing working yarn and making our first stitch and then put it on the hook and then we will make a chain of 18 stitches so for making uh, a chain you just uh, grab working yarn with your hook and pull it through the uh, first stitch and then do the same 18 times try to uh, have them at, uh, about the same size and uh, we will need 18 to have a small shrug like I showed you and uh, we have six colors available uh, ivory beautiful pink powder this beautiful uh, gray color burgundy and aquamarine so and it's a really beautiful uh, merino wool that uh, it's very soft and really uh, feeling nice to touch. So now when we have 18 stitches chain, we will start our crochet. So we will be, for the first row, we will be using this knots in the middle to make the first row. So watch carefully that you would use those knots. See this knot in the middle, insert hook inside, grab walking yarn, pull it out. You have two stitches. Now grab walking yarn again and pull it through. This is your first simple crochet. This, see this next knot, this all these knots that we will be using, insert your hook in that knot, grab walking yarn, pull it out, grab walking yarn and pull it through two stitches. This is our second single crochet. And keep doing this way using these knots that are in the middle of the stitch uh, of the chain that we cast on. 
So try to crochet loosely because this way you will use less yarn and this way you will need only two skeins of skinny merina to make that beautiful uh, shrug that I showed you at the beginning and I will show it again at the end of this video. So I will finish this row and come back and show you what to do next. Okay guys, our first row is done. So you can see it's a beautiful uh, crocheted uh, row and that's how beautiful the super chunky, uh, I'm sorry, uh, so <laughs> skinny merina looks. So now what we're doing, we are turning the uh, crocheted project on the other side and now we will be crocheting from this side and what we will be using uh, we will be using the stitch on the top so we are going to insert the uh, hook inside the stitch grab walking yarn pull it out you have two stitches grab walking yarn pull it through two and do it uh, the same way to all stitches that you have here on the top and you are grabbing the whole stitch consisting of two strings insert hook grab walking yarn pull it out and then pull it through two and then the next stitch this will be your second row And uh, you will need to crochet this way all the way until you use all the first skein. And uh, you're just going back and forth the same way. And um, now I will show you how to connect the wool when you need to connect two skeins together. Okay, guys. So here we have two uh, ends of the uh merina wool and we will connect them so what you need to do you need to place them uh, side by side uh, eight in eight inches uh, about eight inches uh, end and then uh, take one end put it on the top of another string and make a simple knot very simple knot nothing special and then tie it then do the same with this end. Place it on the top of the other string and make a very simple knot and tighten it. That's what you will get. Now you just pull these two together. See, we didn't tighten it good enough. Pull them two together and that's what you will have. You will have a very tight knot and then you just cut those ends and you have the yarn connected so um, when you connect your second skein keep crocheting back and forth until you are done with your okay guys so <clears throat> we have this all uh, two skeins used and we have this beautiful uh, crocheted shrug or uh, what will be a shrug. Now you have the last stitch left and a small uh, tail. You're taking the tail and pull it through the last stitch. Uh, then pull it out gently and that will be the end of your crocheting project. <clears throat> now you can uh, cut it shorter and then weave in the end. Now when you have it uh, all done, now we will uh, put it all together. Uh, so it will be pretty square and then you take the sides and put them in the middle and this side too. This is how you put it together and now you will use uh, either pieces of the yarn that you have left 
or you can uh, sew it with a, a similar color thread, it's up to you. But you will need to leave half of this uh, distance for your arm. And depending on how big your arm is, you, uh, you can leave more than half. So basically you can measure your arm and then leave this area for your arm and then connect this two sides together. So you're inserting uh, your yarn and then insert it underneath the stitch across on another side, then underneath the stitch on this side and inside the stitch here and keep doing this way until you are done with connecting these two parts. When you're done connecting, you will have two ends. You will need to make a knot on the last stitch and tighten it. And the same here, make a knot, tighten it, and then either cut it or weave in the end. And the same we will do on another side, making a place for the arm. Again, you will need just a small piece of uh, wool. You can uh, leave a little piece before starting, or you can just use regular thread. So inside the, uh, insert this piece inside the last stitch and then insert it in the last stitch on the opposite side. Then you can make a knot connecting them and then keep doing this way until about the middle, mid middle uh, of this distance. So inside the stitch on one side and inside the stitch on another side And this way, you're connecting two parts together. And then the last piece that left, you can insert and make a knot to secure it. That's it. Now these two little pieces uh, hide between stitches. Weave them in. And now your shrug is ready. This will be inside part. So you uh, turn it like that. Here you go. It's all ready. Okay, guys, so you're all done with your beautiful shrug. Uh, you now know how to make it. Uh, look again how beautiful it looks uh, on the back and up front on your shoulders. It's very light, it's very soft and gentle to touch. And uh, you will just love to have it uh, when you're a little bit cold. It's perfect uh, for making basically anything, uh, something like this, or it's really beautiful if you decide to make a sweater, which will be in one of my next videos, how to make a sweater with this uh, beautiful yarn. Uh, you can actually make a beautiful blanket from it. It will not be as chunky as Super Chunky Merina or even Super Chunky Chanel yarn, but it will be really durable. It will not be shedding and peeling and it will uh, last for a long time because it was uh, spun already. It's a uh, ready yarn and it's not available in many stores, uh, craft stores, because usually craft stores, it's uh, polyester or acrylic. This is 100% Australian Merino wool. Uh, very high quality, very soft and beautiful. So find it at becozy.net or becozy.etsy.com and stay warm and becozy.